minus 10. 9. 8. All my team 7, members were 6, preparing for this 5, first satellite 4, launch of India. 3, 2, 1, take off. Our focus was totally on the SLV-3 and the way it was going up. In a small village of Thiruvanthapuram, we were carrying many rocket parts on bicycles from one place to another as there were no roads in the village. The government saw our effort and asked me to start an advanced missile program in India. So we started preparing. Time was passing by and we had to work fast and effectively. My scientific team had been preparing for the satellite launch for many years. And a lot of hard work has gone into this preparation. All my team members were working towards the satellite launch of SLV-3 and there was a lot of excitement within the teams. The SLV-3 at the second level went out of control and after 317 seconds of the launch, the mission was terminated. The rocket went crashing down and disappeared into the sea. For all of us, it was a terrible shock. It was an unfortunate time for me as the SLV-3 mission failed. I was really heartbroken. I knew the media was ready to question me and my team. We all were very anxious, but we all were answerable. I was feeling very embarrassed to be sitting in front of so many media crew. But then, my team's chairman, Professor Satish Dhawan, started addressing the media's question with confidence. We could identify the problems and win the next time. Just after a year on 18th July 1980, once again, the whole country was looking upon us. Indian Institute of Space Research's future was on the verge of a change. And there was the moment of truth, the launch of SLV-3. The countdown has again begun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With the help of SLV-3, satellite Rohini was successfully parked. And then, I delivered the most important words of my life. This is the mission director, calling all stations to share that all the levels have been successfully achieved and the satellite Rohini is now in the space line. Everybody was celebrating. 
and why wouldn't they be it was a moment of immense pride for us and for our country